Have you ever dreamed about achieving the 3D clothing in Blender? Well then welcome my child, to the 3D clothing in Blender tutorial you will achieve perfect 3D clothing control. While using 100% of your brain power let us move on to the never before done 3D clothing folds tutorial. <laughs> I thought that for all my days, I would rot in this cell, but one day, everything changed. Who are you? There is no time for me to tell you, I'm here to break you out of here. Out of here, the horny jail, impossible, you speak nonsense, just let me spend the rest of my days in peace. You won't be saying that when I perform this sick move. Oh my goodness, that was a sick move, but why help me escape? As I said there is no time to explain, we have to run. We won't make it anywhere on foot, they're going to catch up. You think I didn't think of that beforehand? Get on, hurry. We should be safe on this epic flying thing. Peppy, I need you to take this laptop. Pack a couple mainframes and upload a video. It's the only reason I broke you out, the people have spoken. They need a third, 3D, clothing, tutorial. Alright, I'm on it. Almost done. A couple more seconds and this epic video will be uploaded. Thank god, I was worried we wouldn't- Other Pepe, the device fell out of the flying thing. What will we do now? Happy, it's alright. I know what I have to do. Other Pepe, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Ever since that other Pepe escaped me from my short rotting, I've been set to not being horny ever again. I've improved everything in my life. I can even make some damn good 3D clothing. And now, I'll pass that knowledge down to you my child. First off, you want to upscale your clothing. It makes it look way better. Waifu 2x cafe is the best way to do this to my knowledge. Download link is in the description. Pay attention to what I do on screen. It's quite straightforward and simple. It took around 15 seconds for me. It may run faster or slower depending on your hardware. I already upscaled it beforehand, but it generally should look like this. Open up Photoshop. Any version will do, but 2020 is what I prefer. Find your Roblox guys texture file. Select the magic wand, make sure the tolerance is around 20, anti-alias and contiguous enabled, and select the to square icon located at the top left. The two square icon allows us to select multiple things at once without it thinking we want to deselect the thing we selected before. Make sure it's set to that for the magic wand and the rectangular select tool. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the skin layer, then press delete to delete it from the selected layer. Realign the skin layer with the cloth layer a little bit. And you should be left with the skin only layer and the clothing only layer. This part is not really needed, but if you want to separate the shoes from the clothing layer do the following.
Make sure to hide the other layers except for the one you are exporting. Then name them accordingly. Open up Blender. This rig will be downloadable in the description. Hold shift and select all of the Robloxon's body parts. Then right click, go to set origin, and click origin to geometry. Then select a body part. Press Shift plus D, and press Enter, repeat for all body parts. This will copy the body part by the way. Make sure all of the body parts subdivision amounts are 4, lower it if you have a less powerful device. Deselect the default material, make your own and add your upscaled Robloxon's texture image. Attach the color to base color and the alpha to alpha. Select all duplicated limbs of the character and change their material to the one we just created. Make another material, but this time use your only skin texture instead of only clothing texture. Select the non-duplicated limbs, and change their material to our only skin material. When rendering in the viewport it should look like this. Select the on Lickler thin limbs, and change their scale for X, Y, and Z to 1.110. You should be able to see the skin layer be under the clothing layer in the viewport render. Add a displacement modifier, press new, click the to switches icon, and select the open button. Select the cloth folding image, this will be downloadable in the description. Go back to the displace modifier, set the strength to 0.50, or 0.100, if you want very noticeable folds. Add the displace modifier to all of the cloth limbs, click the arrow, and check a board icon, and select the texture. I'm mentally challenged. After you have done this for all the clothing limbs, go to add, select MT, and add a plane axis. Go back to the displace modifier, 
and change the coordinates from local to object, and then select the ink thing icon and select the MT. Do this for all the clothing limbs. Now after you did that, rotate and move the empty randomly, scale it a bit down or up, if you want bigger or smaller folds, and mess around with it, until you find something that looks nice. Now we can gasp and be flattered at the sight of our clothing folds. Don't be too horny or it's jail for you. When you hide and limb, it should look like this. This part is only necessary, if you want to add more detail to the clothing, you will need to have a bump texture which actually looks like fabric. I highly recommend watching Isla's video on this, it goes into more detail and he actually knows how to make a tutorial video Omega Lal. I won't be adding TTS over this bit, except for this, if you look closely, or understand Blender a bit then it should be easy to follow. Anyways thank you for watching this video, sorry if you didn't understand a lot, this was kind of meant for people, that know a bit about Blender, I didn't realize, until late editing, that my cursor was hidden, oops, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal, hopefully if you want to know more I again recommend watching others people videos on this. This was generally just an overview of the whole process with some bits other videos don't show. Also TTS makes me sound a bit rude. I did not mean to come off that way lol I'll see you later.